Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Kelly Atchison from Menasha, Wisconsin. Um, I am going to be sharing some of the new changes that Stampin' Up! has come out with. Uh, we just got back from Milwaukee on stage, and um, there were a lot of new things that were released. Hi, Charlene. Let me see if I can get this up on my computer now so I can see your comments. Hi, Sandy, Marsha, Patty. Thanks for joining me. Julie from North Dakota. You know, my family used to go to Devil's Lake every summer for a week of walleye fishing. And it was like a huge caravan. It was my mom and dad and um, me and my husband and our daughter Haley and some family friends and my brother and his daughter and my other brother and his daughter and then other friends would come in from Colorado. We had like this huge group of people, some really fond memories in North Dakota. Hi Kelly, hi Sherry, hi Sandy from Illinois, Texas. Lisa from Phillips, welcome. I love Phillips, it's so beautiful up there. All right. Um, Hi, Betty. Far away Greenville, right? <laughs> um, did we come through Grand Forks? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we did, Julie. Pretty sure we did. Hi, Doris. Good morning. Uh, let me see if I can get... See if my computer will work right today. It was just not... Not too happy on Sunday. Okay. Looks like it's working. All right. Um, I'm going to get started. So let's see. I have some new products to share with you, and I think, hi Jody. Jody and I went to high school together. Happy to see you here this morning. Hi Marsha, Sandy. Um, I'm gonna get started, and I think I'm gonna show you the new products that I got, so you'll get the sneak peek first, and then we'll start going over some of the changes, because I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, there's a lot of confusion since the retirement list came out. So I just wanted to let you know what's going on there. So hang on while I turn my phone around. I am going to um, put it down here on my table. Okay, hang on. Now remember you guys, if we get disconnected, you just have to click on the name on my Facebook page, the name of my page, a stamp above your creative coach, and you will be reconnected again. Hang on, this is at a funny angle. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. There we go. Oops, there's my little wind chimes I showed you guys Sunday night. Every time I bump my lamp, they're um, very vocal. Okay, we're plugged in. We're ready to rock. Okie dokie. So, who wants to see new fun stuff? I know I do. <laughs> no, I've already seen it, but it's pretty cool. So, first of all, I have... Some exciting news about stamp and blend markers. We're getting a whole bunch of new colors. I don't remember how many, but this is one of the new colors. It's called Dark Pineapple Punch. And here are the new in colors, which are really pretty. You know, everybody was super sad about Peekaboo Peach going away. Well, we now have Grapefruit Grove. And that is very close. It's a peachy color, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then we have a new blueberry bushel, which is kind of a bright blue. Lovely lipstick. Now this is kind of a pinky red. It's a little bit lighter than, let me see if I can get my Melon Mambo out here without knocking over everything I have in the sidelines that you can't see. You know, one of the things I like about doing Facebook Live is I have to clean up my area <laughs> because it can become quite a disaster. So you can see that, well, this ink pad doesn't really do it, but this is a lighter shade. This is a deeper pink. This is a lighter pink. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then we have Call Me Clover Green. 
and pineapple punch. So we have pineapple punch marker, pineapple punch stamp and blend. So I had somebody ask me if all of the stamp and blends were being retired. You know, I have to admit to you, I have not even had a chance to go over the retirement list. So I'm assuming there's something in there that led somebody to believe that our Stampin' Blends are retiring, and they are not. Not only are they not retiring, but we are getting a whole bunch of new colors. So that is so um, exciting. And Julie, I love the blends too. I I love them. They're fabulous to color with. And you guys know I'm not a fan of um, coloring bigger areas with markers because it looks like a child did it. It's all scribbly and icky, and I just don't like that look. But with the Stampin' Blends, you don't have those scribble marks, which is super important to me. All right, and then we have some um, velvet ribbon. And let's see, I think this is, yep, it's Rich Razzleberry. I was going to say, it doesn't even say on here, but it does. This velvet ribbon is very pliable. I like that because then it goes around things easily, right? And it's so soft. Love, love, love it. Get this set aside. I have three new stamp sets. Where's the last one? Right here. All right, three new stamp sets. First stamp set, Pick a Pennant. This is a fun little stamp set. It's got all these cute pennants in it and also um, a bunch of letters. And it's got duplicate letters like two A's, two B's, two E's, so that you can make up words easier that have two of those um, letters in them. You know what I mean. It's tricky to do that when you only have one of each letter. Then we've got these cute little pennant designs and some awesome little elements to go with this, as well as numbers. And the little tassels, I always love the little tassels. So pick a pennant, and this comes in photopolymer, so that's fun. I really, really love photopolymer. It's like my favorite rubber. I used to be a wood girl, um, but since I started using photo photopolymer, that's become my favorite. And then, here's a set you may not have seen yet. I was the I won prize patrol at our onstage event in Milwaukee. This is called Artisan Textures, and I hope you can see this good. It's got all kinds of little backgrounds in it, some little wavy lines, um, like a swooshy, like you took a paintbrush and maybe went like that, little tiny polka dots, and then this, I don't know what to call it, um, maybe paint on a rag. Who knows? Rag painting, possibly. But I was super excited to get this because I love background stamps. And then my favorite, Animal Outing. We all received this with our beautiful bags. And um, I have to tell you, if you are a subscriber to my blog, you might have seen what I made with this already. On my blog post today, I'm doing a technique with the Simple Stripes Embossing Folder and I use this stamp set. So hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com, and you will find two super cute cards with the Animal Outing stamp set. I can't wait to use this more. All right, and then, let's see. I already showed you guys the cover of the, um, well, thanks, Karen, you're very welcome. I'm glad that I can uh, share all this stuff with you. I already shared the front cover of our catalog, and I can't share any more. Stampin' Up! has this under lock and key. We are not allowed to show the inside. So all we can do is drool over this beautiful color cover, I mean. And there's a lot of the new in colors being, I'm sorry, the new colors being used. Like this is Granny Apple Green, and this is Coastal Cabana. Do you remember Coastal Cabana? I am so excited that that is back. Uh, one of my favorite returning in colors. We have some new purples. I believe this is the lipstick color that I just talked about. Here's one of the peachy colors. Yeah, it's very pretty. And you can see some new stamp sets on there too. So that's exciting. Love our new catalog. All right, I have some cards that we made using some of the products in the catalog. We always do make and takes when we are at 
on stage or stamping up events. And here's a cute little card. We get directions in that we have a photograph. This is a new set of um, cards that comes, and I glued mine all down. It's a new set of little note cards and envelopes, and it has this light watercolor pattern on the background, and you can kind of see it in this picture here. This is the intricate uh, designer series paper. You get a whole bunch of different patterns. You can see here we have some um, argyle pattern, and then this is all laser cut little leaves to show through to the card base underneath. Some laser cut flowers, and look at how beautiful this is. Did you happen to notice this little image in the corners? Uh, yeah, we have one of those triple corner punches coming out. It does a, um, um, cuts a little floral image like this. It is a corner rounder, and then it has another little hole on it, I believe. I love these triple corner rounders. You can also see there's some polka dot ribbon in the background here, and here is that new peach color. What's it? It's going to take me a long time to um, learn the names of all these new colors, but there's that peachy color. And Marsha asked, are they going to keep that embossing folder in the new catalog? The stripes embossing folder? Marsha, let me check. I believe so. Hang on, though, because I can't let you see this as much as it pains me to keep it a secret. Um, let's see. Yes, Simple Stripes is in the new catalog. Yay! Okay, so here is one of the pretty little cards that we made. And then I think that, oh look, I, I had some of that polka dot ribbon left over. Isn't that pretty? I can see all kinds of things happening with this. It's very, very pliable and it's see-through. So let's see, you can put it on a card. It's gonna, look at how pretty that is. Love this. This is one of my favorites that we made. Look at the designer paper. Oh my gosh, a pack of designer paper. I have no idea what it's called. I just know that I was drooling over it. And then we have some fabulous little metal embellishments here. There's a framelit set that goes with this set. I can't remember what it's called. You'll see lots of good things coming from me with this. And then again, here's our directions on how to put this card together but I love this big log. It's a big piece of wood, like you cut it and you're just showing the end of it. And these leaves are kind of fossil looking. We have new baker's twine in a multiple um, array of colors, so that's gonna be fun. Love, love, love this. And then, this is an interesting card. This was, we could make it a couple different ways, but this is actually patterned vellum. And what we did on here is we took the Stampin' Blends and we colored on the back of the vellum and then added it to our card as a um, decorative images on the front. Very pretty, and there's a whole bunch of different patterns in um, this pack of designer vellum. And again, I don't know what the stamp set's called. <laughs> We're going to be waiting a long time for Kelly to remember all that. And then another one of my favorites, you guys. Look, 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 look. This designer series paper is a floral arrangement. And it is, it's got just some really unique color combinations. And beautiful, beautiful, like watercolorish floral images. Love it. Do you see what we have right here? Doilies, some new doilies. I'm excited about these. The cool thing is they're pearlized on this side and then on the back they're white. So you can make them any color you want them. Super, super fun. And again, I don't know what this stamp set's called. It's just really pretty. Um, if you go, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you get to go to an onstage event, one of the coolest things, of course, is getting the catalog really early. But second coolest thing is um, being able to pre-order. So we get this double sheet that you open up and it has some of the products out of the catalog. 
um, that we get to order. And these, well, this isn't, that isn't, but all the rest of these things are some of those items that we get to pre-order. And um, when I put in a pre-order, I have to admit my guilty pleasure is expediting shipping. <laughs> So I have my order and it should re it, I have my order in and it should arrive tomorrow. And I'm just a little um I'm a little torn because I have so much going on right now. Um I probably should have told you guys. I didn't do any Facebook live. I said I wasn't sure if I'd do a Facebook live on Monday or not because I had to take Anna down to Milwaukee again. I love Milwaukee, right? Not really. But I had to take Anna down to Milwaukee again for a very important doctor's appointment with her specialist. I am happy to report they removed the catheter that they had inserted through her stomach into her bladder. And the minute they took it out, she said she felt like a new person. I know. This was so, so exciting. Thank you guys so much for your prayers. Um, we'll take continued prayers that the healing process for all of this um, continues on a good path. But um, yesterday, she texted me and wanted to go someplace with me. And where was she when she texted me? At the grocery store. My Anna hasn't been any place since December 9th. She has been miserable in a recliner in her living room or in the hospital. It's been terrible. So after the appointment, we went to Chili's and we had a wonderful supper. And she was laughing and joking. And and then she was like apprehensive, wondering if, you know, she was being punked. Is this just like some weird thing? And then tomorrow she's going to be miserable again because she has been severely ill for five months. So happy to report Anna is good. We had a great time yesterday. We went to this Crave place and got these shakes because we're both going on diets now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough about that. Uh, let's see. What else am I going to show you here? Ink pads. I have a whole list of information. So if you guys are really hungry for information, you came to the right place. Of course, I'm sure you've heard that we have a color revamp going on. Um, in our new catalog... We have colors being updated. No changes have been made to the core color offering since 2013. It was time. Our plan is to update colors every three to five years, which I think is really important. It's important for Stampin' Up! to be trendy, to stay up to date with what's on target for colors. You know that... Um, some of the corporate team, I know it used to be Shelly and Sarah used to go to New York City every year for the fashion shows in the spring to find out what are the new colors. And that's how they kind of come up with a lot of our colors. If you've ever noticed while you're out shopping, um, sometimes you'll see items that we have for product in the stores, like big pineapples on pillows or big pineapples on clothing. That is very trendy. And you remember a couple years ago, we had the big pineapple stamp. Um, you'll also see these colors in clothing, in home decor, in furniture even. So that's where all this comes from. We have to stay current with this stuff to compete in a very um, uh, competitive market. Now, uh, this is being called a color revamp because there's quite a few colors changing to our core colors. When they change a few colors, we're just going to call it a color refresh. The in colors will continue to change every year. Um, we have two sets in the catalog at one time. One year, the oldest set is going out and a new set is coming in. The set that was there um, will remain till the following year. So in colors stick around for two years. Sometimes we will retire in colors and we will bring them back into our core colors, which is what happened here. All right, currently we have 50 colors in our current color offering. We have 10 in colors and then 10 different colors in the neutrals, brights, subtles, and regals. Our new catalog will feature 53 um, colors and 10, 10 in colors as usual. Then we'll have core colors. We have a new category. We're gonna have three colors in our basic category and then 10 in each of the others I just mentioned. So we're keeping, in, in a nutshell, 
We're keeping 27 of the existing core colors. 13 core colors are going away, and I'll get to those in just a minute. We're adding 10 new core colors and adding six returning in colors that will now be core colors. They were offered in the past, retired, and now they're going to be available again. You're gonna love these, I promise. All right. Thank you, Sandy, for adding Anna to your church list. That is so sweet. I hope I didn't miss any questions. If I've missed any questions, um, please let me know because I'm continue rattling on. All right, here are the colors that are going away. Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Flirty Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, and Sweet Sugar Plum. This is no surprise. These are our retiring in colors. They were already scheduled to retire. From our neutral line, Chocolate Chip is going away. Now, some of you might be panicking, what are we going to do? You know what? I haven't used Chocolate Chip in so long. The only thing I use Chocolate Chip for is to take a sponge dauber and add ink to my um, roots on my hair to make the gray disappear until I wash it again. Now, you may think that's funny, but that really works. My friend Barb taught me that, and she just ordered three chocolate chip reinkers so she can keep her gray stripe at bay. Super, super funny, but it is the truth, okay? You can use a, re -ink, uh, a dauber on an ink pad and just... Dab it in your part, along your part where you may see it, and you can cover up your gray until you wash your hair again. There's the best tip today. <laughs> okay, so chocolate chip, don't use it. I always use early espresso or soft suede, so I'm not sad to see that go. Tangerine Tango, I rarely use that. And Tempting Turquoise, while it used to be a super big favorite of mine, I always use Bermuda Bay. Tempting Turquoise, hardly ever use it. Um, those two are in the brights. The subtles, we are losing Marina Mist, Pink Pirouette, Soft Sky, Wild Wasabi, and Wisteria Wonder. Don't panic. We have new shades coming in that are more trendy. Also in the regals, we're losing Always Artichoke. About time. Good riddance. Never use it. A little sad to see Elegant Eggplant go, but we have a new color coming. Island Indigo is probably my saddest retirement of color. I love Island Indigo. I loved Not, not Quite Navy, and I have survived without that <laughs> when they retired that. I will live after the Island Indigo goes, but I do love it. So that might be one of the colors that I stock up on cardstock because mm, I just love it. Perfect Plum. Bye-bye. Never use it. And Rose Red. Haven't used Rose Red in a couple years. I kid you not. So... Those are going away. I told you our new in colors. Then our 10 new core colors. In our neutrals line, we are going to have a color called Mary Merlot and also granite, gray granite. This is a little bit more of a brown gray. And the Merlot is a lot like our Bravo Burgundy. Remember that color? We, all, we were all so sad to see that go. Um, yeah, Karen and Suzette, yeah, Island Indigo, my favorite. That's going, bye-bye. Okay, in the Brights collection, we are getting a Mango mango Melody. And again, we have Grapefruit Grove and Mango Melody. While Peekaboo Peaches, I'm sad to see go, we do have some peachy colors coming in. I told you about Granny Apple Green, and then here is Gorgeous Grape. Mmm, can't wait to use that. Then, in the Settles line, we are getting a color called Petal Pink, Soft Sea Foam, Balmy Blue, and Highland Heather, which is also a gorgeous color. So while we're losing Marina Mist, we're getting Balmy Blue, which is a slightly lighter shade of blue. And then in our Regals, we have a new green coming in called Shaded Spruce. So I am happy, happy to see that. And then... Um, our six returning in colors, which are now going to be core colors, guess what's back? Mossy Meadow. Yes. Love this color. It is delicious. It is the best green I think Stampin' Up! has ever come out with. So I'm pretty excited about Mossy Meadow returning. Also, do you remember Poppy Parade from a few years ago? That's coming back. Flirty Flamingo 
is being moved from the in colors into our core colors, and I'm excited about that. And then Coastal Cabana, my prayers have been answered. I think this is one of the most beautiful colors ever. Happy to see that returning. Mint Macron, we thought we were all going to lose our mind when we retired Mint Macron. Guess what? I lived without it. I did love it. I am super happy to see it come back. And our delicious Blackberry Bliss. I actually went down in my, I take stuff that's retired and put it in my basement. I went down and I found Blackberry Bliss cardstock, Mint Macron cardstock, and um, Mossy Meadow cardstock. Yay me! So I have these. I'm so excited. Okay, so that is our color revamp. Um, Stampin' Up! also gave us, as demonstrators, this awesome uh, sampler of all the cardstock. And let me see if I can find some real pictures here. Here's one of the... Um, I think this is... Oh, these are the in colors. Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Go Grove, Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover, and look at how pretty that blue is. Blueberry Bushel. All right, and then let me see if I can figure out what some of these other ones are. I think this is our new gray, so that's pretty cool. Here's another one of those um, peachy colors. This is really, really pretty. I like this a lot. Let's see, do I have any questions? Does that mean a fruit set in our future? Ooh, Karen, I don't know. I know you're going to be horrified by this, but I have actually only gotten through page 129 in our Stampin' Up! catalog. I fell asleep when we were in Milwaukee. Me and Dina both fell asleep on our beds and slept with our catalogs. <laughs> so I haven't actually looked through the whole catalog, so I can't tell you if there's a new fruit set coming. Um, I'll, try to, I'll try to mention that on Sunday in my Facebook Live. We'll see. You ask me then. And be persistent. If I miss your if I miss your question, ask me again. Look at that new purple. That is beautiful. I think this one is the gorgeous grape. I also have labels to put on all these, but I haven't gotten to that. I have a whole bunch of videos that I've had to make. Look, these are two new colors. I like this. This is another little very pale peachy color. What else do we have here? Yeah, I've been running my tail off. I still don't have my taxes done, but I have started. What color? Sea, soft sea foam. That is beautiful. And this is Mint Macron. And here's our new blue. Oh, maybe. New blue. <gasps> Balmy blue. I don't know what color. I think this is the sea foam. Ah, we'll figure it out. Here's the Highland Heather. Isn't that pretty? The mango looks close to crushed curry. You know what? That's a good point. And um, where did that go? Right here. Oh my gosh, I've got a disaster going on here. I'm probably going to break this. Yeah, um, it's not though. It's much more orange. Let me grab a piece of crushed curry here. It is a much different color. Here's a piece of crushed curry. So yeah, it's got a lot more orange in it, Suzette. A very, very, I love it. Very different for us, right? I love it when they do stuff that's drastically different. I know a lot of people don't like change, but let's be real. If we didn't have change, Stampin' Up! wouldn't be in business. So, ooh, I think this is that Merlot right here. Mm-hmm. And this looks like, um, I just used this color yesterday, Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie. Our colors are being moved around, too, just so you know. I think this is Crushed Curry. Old Olive. I think this is the shade, Shaded Spruce. And I don't know what color. Color me. Clo no, I don't know what this is. It's green. <laughs> Blackberry Bliss. I love Blackberry Bliss. And you can see the difference between that and the um, Rich Razzleberry. So you'll be seeing a lot about these new colors. We are going to embrace this change. It is a good thing. It was due. Stampin' Up! always seems to know when we need this stuff to happen because these colors are getting tired. They're getting old. Um, for those of you that are demonstrators, you need to see this cup as half full 
color is good. We need to um, be playing with new colors and be excited about new colors. I know that a lot of people are kind of freaking out about, oh my gosh, that's so much new stuff to buy. Take your time. No big rush. It's going to be around for a while. You do what you can do and um, you'll be happier that way. Now, I want to tell you about a few other things that are happening. Okay. Um, archival black and archival basic gray. You'll notice these say archival on them. They are going away. Um, we are going back to stays on black ink, which I'm super excited about. And um, we are getting a new gray in one of our core lines here. So oh, new granite gray, and we still have smoky slate. So in our neutrals, we will have a gray to replace the archival. I just wanted to let you know that. Now, the only thing that is changing here is you will not be able to use your archival basic gray reinker in your new ink pad if you get the new gray. So, oh, here's the basic gray. Sorry, I was confused. We do have basic gray, smoky slate, and gray granite. You will not be able to use this reinker on the new ink pad because the formula is different for archival um, versus not archival. So, um, don't use your reinker in there. All right, now on to the new ink pads. They are fantastic. I couldn't hardly wait to show these to you. They are easier to open, just like a compact. Close up, open, okay? This is an all new design, and the reason why Stampin' Up! chose to change the ink pad design is because the patent on this particular mold, well, no, the patent on this mold, which was our old, um, the current ones that you have right now, was expiring and we needed to do something so we decided we listen to me like I had anything to do with this <laughs> believe me I don't have that much power um, they decided to redesign the case to make it user a little more user friendly you know how everybody struggles with opening these and how do you do it no and, oh, and then it gets stuck there and you can't get it back in then they come apart okay it doesn't happen very often but it does happen this, you just open up and slide into place. Super easy. And these are a little tight right now because I haven't gotten them broken in yet. Closed, just like that. Okay, here's another cool thing. Do you see these little polka dots, these little dots? They're indented on the ink pad corners, all four corners. On the back, you have these little nubbies of plastic molded right into the case. That makes these very stackable. So right now, if you have a stack of ink pads, they do not stack nicely, right? They will fall over, they slip around. These are going to stack right on top of each other and these little nubbies are gonna hold them there nicely. The next question I've had about the ink pads. Yeah, right, are the new ink pads smaller? Let's take a look at that. Are they smaller? They are just a tiny bit smaller. Let me get out my handy dandy stamping up ruler. <laughs> my friend Dina gave this to me, bless her heart. Okay, this is two and three quarters. And this one is two and five eighths. So it's an eighth of an inch narrower. This is two, three and five eighths. Do you guys, are you impressed with how good I am with the ruler? <laughs> this is, I think this is still three and five eighths. It's very close to three and five eighths. So just an eighth of an inch narrower. Um, so good news. It's still the same foam. So you're going to, um, you know, tap, 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 just like I, I you know, you, I know you guys hear this in your sleep. Tap, tap, tap. Don't squish and grind. <laughs> I love saying that. It sounds a little naughty, doesn't it? Um, anyways, um, let's see. Suzette, yes, these do fit in our current ink caddy. Now, here's the deal. They fit in there perfectly, um, but you don't want to spin your caddy fast because if you do, these don't kind of lock in 
Um, let me let me see what I'm doing here. Yeah, these kind of sit in there a little snugger. These sit in there a little looser. They do fit right in there. You don't want to spin your caddy fast because they will fly out. Okay, so that's important. Um, next thing, this is like the biggest deal to me about these new ink pads. I didn't have any trouble opening the other ones because of course I'm opening them like, you know, 40 times a day. So I got really good at it. Here's the best part. So we have all of our labels back here. And let's see if I can get this off. I'm gonna peel this off. I am going to, I don't need Chinese or French or whatever that other one is. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I'm going to put this on the end of my ink pad because this is where I will put it in. Hang on, let me set this down before I get it stuck to my table front here. Oh, look, they stand right up. Another great feature. No, I don't know why that would matter. I am going to put that right on the end here. Oh, oh, I love it. It's all new and beautiful, right? Hang on, I gotta get a drink. What are you guys drinking this morning? What are you drinking? Don't forget to share this video. Lots of stampers need to know this information. I am drinking apple cinnamon tea in my Pepsi cup. Yes, it is um, interchangeable with all my beverages. <laughs> and no, there's no alcohol in it. Come on, people. It's 930 in the morning. No, I'm not. I don't drink much, but I do like to have fun with talking about it. <laughs> Okay, just stuck my finger in the ink here. That's another thing. I don't think you're going to have as much problem getting your hands inky with these as with the other ones. Um, and we'll see, won't we? Because if anybody can get ink on our fingers, it's me. Here comes these labels. Now, look at this. Each one of these labels has a plain color. Guess what? That gets added right here right here people right in that little spot so that now you and your customers will be able to tell when the ink pad is open let me get the ink off my fingernail because i i knew i stuck my finger in there oh look at i got it dirty oh my gosh no we need to be okay with that <laughs> believe me i'm not worried about it um now you will be able to tell what color you're using when you have your ink pads open. Ah, isn't that fabulous? That is like the best, best feature for me. Okay, Stampin' Up! did an amazing job on these. I'm super excited. I can't wait for my order to come tomorrow because I have a whole bunch of these in there. I ordered all the new ink colors. Can't wait to get, a, get my hands on them. All right, what's next? Um, Let's see, we've gone over the colors. Um, I didn't tell you about the changes from, we moved some colors to different core families. Um, let's see, oh, wait, I'm looking for questions. Can we order these now? Suzette, demonstrators um, will be able to start ordering from the pre-order, which Stampin' Up! will, on our demonstrator website, Stampin' Up! will show you a PDF file, you can look at it what you get to pre-order out of the catalog. We can't just go willy-nilly on May 2nd. May 2nd starts our pre-order period for um, a variety of new products out of the new catalog. So then we get a month to play with those before the new catalog goes live on, hang on, I can't show you the back. I don't know why, there's nothing on it. Catalog, June 1st. I was thinking maybe it was June 3rd, but it's June 1st. So, demonstrators can start ordering on May 2nd. Customers can start ordering from the new catalog on June 1st, and that's when it'll go live on my um, blog and Stampin' Up's website. Okay. Yes, Marsha, it is a cool idea. I love that thing inside. Inside is the best idea ever. Um, I've already gone over the new in colors. We have the old in colors. Um, and then the basics are Whisper White, Very Vanilla, and Basic Black. And I told you that these are the three. This is a new category for us. These used to be in the neutrals, but now we've moved them out of there. And hang on, my computer's like going crazy. Okay, so Linda's drinking coffee. Yay, Linda! 
Um, I'm not a coffee drinker. I really wish I was because there's just the cutest stuff out there for coffee drinkers and all the cute little memes, but I have never liked coffee. Um, no. Will the reinkers work with the new pads, Betty? Yes, all except the archival uh, basic gray. No. You can throw that whole thing away or do whatever you want with it, but do not put that in the new basic gray. That is going to be a water-based ink. So that's a good question. How come you get those new products before other demonstrators? Great question, Valerie. I went to On Stage in Milwaukee last weekend. And one of the benefits in going to an On Stage, well, first of all, Stampin' Up! recognizes that you're investing in your business. Going to one of these events is not um, a real inexpensive thing to do. You have hotel costs, you have food costs, you have travel costs, parking. Ugh. Parking at the Marriott in downtown Milwaukee was $34 a night. What do they think they are? New York City? <laughs> I was really not happy about that. But you're investing in your business. And so some of the perks that you get for attending a business training like that is number one, we get the catalog before anybody else. So if you are a demonstrator and you didn't go to on stage, you do not get a catalog until your first demonstrator order starting May 2nd. Huge, huge benefit. And then the next thing is we have a pre-order that we can order a select number of things that Stampin' Up! has mapped out for us from the new catalog. Again, as a reward for investing in your business and going to an on-stage event. So that's how we can get that stuff early. Are Stampin' Spots going to be available in the new in colors? Hmm. Let me take a little look, Lynette. Thanks for joining me. I did not know you were on here this morning. I'm sure I've missed a lot of you. Let me look at the in colors and I will tell you. Um, there's some exciting things happening with embossing powder. Okay. Let's see. Where are my in colors? Hang tight, you guys. I'm, I'm almost there. Here we go. In colors, we've got cardstock, 12 by 12 cardstock. Ooh, we've got new designer series paper stacks in the different color families coming back. That is super exciting. Uh, in color ink pads, in color markers, mini clips. I do not, oh, wait. Nope, I do not see ink spots in the new in colors. So, and I could be missing something there, Lynette. So, um, don't, you know, don't hold me to that 100%. Decaf coffee with vanilla creamer. See, they have all those yummy creamers. I want to be a part of that. I hate tea. I did have some chai tea, or I mean not tea, coffee. I had some chai tea yesterday. Okay, beyond the basics, now we have the neutrals. In the neutral color family is Mary Merlot, Early Espresso, Soft Suede, Crumb Cake, Sahara Sand, Gray Granite, Smoky Slate, Basic Gray, Mossy Meadow, and Night of Navy. Now, that seems kind of odd to add those colors to the neutrals, but I guess it's a trend right now. And somebody said three different grays. Hey, gray is very trendy. We need to stay trendy, and we need to have different shades. I am super excited about grays. You guys are going to love gray combinations. We haven't really done that a lot. Brights. The Returning Poppy Parade, Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, Love, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, and Gorgeous Grape. Um, those are the brights. Let's see. Mary Ann is saying, now I don't understand why they have a pinkish, a bluish, and a greenish color in the neutrals. Um, the pinkish is more like a burgundy. And the um, green and the blue, like I said, it's a color trend right now that these are being added as um, base colors or neutral colors to home decor, to clothing, to um, furniture. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a trend right now, I think, Marianne, and that's why. Beth asks, will we be able to get just the Stampin' Right markers in the new core colors without buying a whole new set? Yes. All of these new things you can purchase, I believe, um, in a new color. A new color, 
item code, new color markers, new color this, new color that will be um, in the catalog. So you're going to be fine with that. We are not buying all new markers. I am not buying all new markers. Okay, settles. Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Petal Pink, So Saffron, Soft Sea Foam, Pear Pizzazz, Mint Macron, Pool Party, Balmy Blue, and Highland Heather. I think I'm going to love this Highland Heather. And then our Regals. And, and again, some of our Brights have moved into our Regals. Um, it really surprised me. We've got Real Red moving into the Regals. Cherry Cobbler, Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie, Crushed Curry, Old Olive, Garden Green, Shaded Spruce. Blackberry Bliss, and Rich Razzleberry. Okay, that's all the color things. Now, I've had some questions about the retirement list, and I want to explain a little bit about that. Oh, Betty, you go help your husband cut down a tree. Doggone it, doesn't he know you're busy? <laughs> Be careful out there, trees can kill you. Um, the retirement list. So on my blog, I have a link to the Occasions Mini Catalog retirement list and is this it oh I'm sorry no it's not this is it I had white paper and blue paper in my um, printer so I got a little confused there occasions mini catalog we have everything retiring there okay now uh, let's see if we have yep we do Here's the deal, you guys. This is a little confusing. When the catalog retires, anything that has bundled been bundled together, like, for example, the Crosses of Hope, Hold On to Hope. So you've got the Hold On to Hope stamp set, the Crosses, I believe that's what it's called, Crosses of Hope um, framelits. Those are bundled together in a bundle with one item code so that you get that 10% discount. If you see anything with three asterisks, that's hard to say. Three asterisks behind it. That means it is not really retiring, retiring. We are just unbundling it. So the Hold On to Hope and the matching framelits will be available in the next catalog. They will not be bundled together for a 10% discount. So if you run through this list, this is the Occasions Mini Catalog, and you wanted to see anything that is... Um, going to be unbundled and you wanted to get that 10% discount, you're going to look for those little three asterisks behind the items and get those before June 1st, right? Then, had a lot of questions about things going on. Same thing with the big retirement list. If it has three um, asterisks behind it, like Coffee Cafe has three asterisks behind it, it is not retiring. They're just unbundling it. So just know that. I don't want people panicking. And then somebody um, messaged me and asked if all of our Stampin' Blends are retiring. I don't know why they asked me that because, like I said, I have not had a chance to go through the retirement list. I have been super busy making videos. Remember I told you my husband was going to take me to Galena, Illinois for a couple days? That was his idea, not mine. Um, and I was like, oh, that sounds like fun. Well, we didn't go. He said he was too busy this week. <laughs> Mr. Retired is too busy. Um, but tonight, we are going to Watertown, Wisconsin, to look at a Harley. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm really excited about that or apprehensive. I don't know. I just have pictures of getting wrapped around a tree on a motorcycle. It's not going to be good. No. I'm, I know lots of people ride bikes. I think I'm really going to have a lot of fun with it, and I think I'm going to enjoy it. And so that's our little road trip today. So I've been busting my little hiney. Tiny is such a funny word, isn't it? I'm um, trying to get all my videos made and my blog posts made, and I have a card buffet this weekend, Sunday. If you want to come to the card buffet and you're local, please pop me an email so that um, I can get you on that list. But I have a card buffet. It's my mom's birthday this weekend, so when I'm done with that, I have to drive two hours to see her. And then um, I'm going to stay overnight, but I have to be back because I don't know when I'm going to make my Facebook Live projects. <laughs> And then Stamp Club start next week with one on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Okay, so Kelly's got a busy week. So I've been really busy trying to get myself situated so I can go on this road trip tonight and be ready for all the things I have coming up. And believe me, I'm not complaining. Love, love, love being busy. So um, not sure why I was asked that question, 
But just know that sometimes, like, I remember one year, all our envelopes were retired. Well, they retired them because they were repackaging them. And sometimes that happens. They're not really gone. So if you have specific questions about um, something that is baffling you, like, you're like, are they really retiring that? Just ask me. Leave a comment below. I can look it up. Make sure it's in the new catalog. Let you know what's going on with it. I just haven't really had time to research all of this. I like to be in better shape and better prepared when I have a new catalog and lots of questions. And I'm just not right now. And um, I'm not going to apologize for it because it is what it is, right? So let's see. I'm going to go through my um, messages here. Suzette and Brenda are both saying that I will love the Harley. I think I will too. Ooh, Suzette took a trip from Ohio to Wyoming. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, Linda's working. She can't come to the buffet. I know, Dina. Look at my fancy ruler. My friend Dina gave this to me. Bless her heart. I love having Stampin' Up! stuff. Um, love logo stuff. Okay. Is Coffee Cafe getting any new items to use with it? Well, Julie, uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Why don't you ask me that in a couple days? I will by then. I'm going to take my catalog with me to Watertown to look at the new Harley. And I will be able to be better informed about what the heck is in here. Because like I said, I only got to page 129. Me and Dina both fell asleep. Her eyes were closing before mine that night. But the night before, I kind of fell asleep on her. We were up late, and then we had to get up early, and oh my, and then there was shopping. You know how it goes. Um, what else? Do I have any other questions? Are the dots raised on the new polka dot ribbon? Oh, you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can feel them. They're like, um, they're like felted, Sandy. They're like felted, it, and it, both sides are just as beautiful. I think... Oh, I'm I'm envisioning techniques with this. Can't hardly wait. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Where did we put that? Oh, I know. We put it right underneath. We took it and covered up a piece of one of the peachy colors. Remember, I can't remember which one this is called. But we covered up a piece of cardstock. That's all. And added those polka dots back there. So that was super cute, right? Does anybody have any other questions for me right now? I have got to get some videos done, and I have to get our taxes done. I am running right down to the wire, as usual, and I am super, super nervous because there were a lot of things that happened different last year for my family, like my husband retired, and he pulled a pension, and um, Stamping Up is going good enough for me that I quit my job, okay, so... Um, and I'm an independent contractor. So you know what that means comes tax time, right? So let me show you. <laughs> You're going to just probably laugh your butt off. This is how much taxes I have done. I have these all added up. And I've got my handy dandy machine here. Let's see. This, this is how much taxes I have left. <laughs> yeah. So fun stuff. And you know what? If I would do better during the year, I wouldn't be sitting here in this situation. So it's my own fault. Um, again, great color revamp. I'm super excited about it. I am equally as excited about our new ink pads, which I've already lost it. Nope, here it is. <laughs> new ink pads, that's a really exciting thing. This color revamp was so necessary. Um, and I am super excited. Remember, you do not have to buy all this stuff at once. However, if you would like to, I'm good with that. <laughs> but you don't have to. You can just start adding new ones. Now, how am I going to go about all these new ink pads? Well, I already told you. I've got an order coming tomorrow with all of the ink colors in it. So I'm going to have new ink pads and ink colors. I will be able to share those with you at my um, live events, like in real life here in Wisconsin. And also, in my videos and in my Facebook Live, I'll be able to share those with you. Am I going to replace all of my ink pads immediately? Uh, no. I think I have other things that I need to buy, like all the glorious things that I'm in love with in here so far. 
And there are things, you guys, there are things I am drooling over in here. Can't hardly wait. Um, yeah, Kathy's glad that, you know what, Kathy, you should be my accountant because you want to hear what my accountant does. I take a list of all of my stuff. I've got everything written out, like um, these are my stamping supplies, these are my business supplies, these are my whatever, with totals next to it. He goes down his little sheet of paper and I give him, this is my stamping supplies total, this is my cell phone bill, this is my internet charge. He plugs it all in, he turns around, he pokes it into his computer program. I am not kidding, when I go to my accountant, I am in and out the door in 20 minutes and I know exactly what disaster I am faced with and how much money I owe in 20 minutes. And then he says, 300 and some dollars, please. Just like that. <laughs> you would love to be my accountant. You don't have to do anything except 20 minutes with me and push some buttons to print out some forms. I should be an accountant. You know, I used to do taxes. I, I have a degree in accounting. I know that's shocking, right? <laughs> And I used to do, ta one of my jobs when I was in college was to working at a tax place and I did tax returns. And can I just say that I hated it, hated it. So anyways, um, I know Brenda, I can't wait for you to get the catalog. Now you guys know that if you've placed an order with me in the last six months, I will send you a new catalog. It's my gift to you. If you haven't placed an order with me in the last six months, Hop on, get some of the retiring product that's coming out. Get this before it's gone. Then you'll be on my list and you'll get a new catalog on me. My local people, when these catalogs come in and I get my information put on the back of them, um, I will let you know that you're here. I always appreciate that people can just stop by, grab a new catalog whenever they're in the area. That saves me a lot of expenses on shipping and believe me, I spend a ton of money on shipping, so um, that makes my heart happy, and I really appreciate that. And um, I'll let you know when they're here, so you can come and grab your catalog right away. And I will. And you guys, let me know if you are long distance and you're getting these in the mail. I need to know. Tell me, Kelly, my catalog come today. Okay, so I want to hear about that. I know, Kathy. It is like it's Christmas. Uh, does anybody have any other questions for me? Share the video. Um, I always appreciate that. Thank you for spending a little time with me this morning. I am going to... I have some really cool cards. You guys, I have really cool cards. On Thursday, I have my One Stamp at a Time blog hop. The theme is Pocket Full of Posies. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And then... On Friday is my feature Friday, which I always do a video for that. I'm, I've got some really cool cards made already. I'm working on the last one for that. And then on Saturday, I have another blog hop with the Stampers Dozen. And I believe spring is our theme. So we have lots of flowery stuff coming because we love flowers this time of year, right? It's supposed to get up to almost 50 degrees here today. It was freezing yesterday. We still have snow on the ground for those of you that are in your warmer climates. I am very jealous. Yeah, right? But, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to some warmer weather. And the ducks have returned to my pool. That's right. The ducks. We have a pair of mallard ducks that come in every year and sit in my pool and poop in it. So, and we don't have a dog anymore to chase them out of there. Like, anytime we saw the ducks, we'd let Rudy out the back door and he would go, rah, 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 and bark at the ducks and they would fly away. But we don't have that going on anymore. So... Um, we have to chase the ducks out now. And apparently the cats don't care about them. So we can't even let the cats out and go, go get the ducks. <laughs> we don't want the ducks pooping in the pool. All right, you guys, I think I'm done. Um, thank you, Suzette. Thank you, Jan, for sharing. Appreciate it. Um, you're welcome, Christine. And Julie says, I hope I have the next day off after I get my catalog because it keeps me up all night. <laughs> I totally understand what you're saying. I'm looking forward to sitting in the car today. How far is Watertown? It's got to be at least a couple hours, maybe more. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to take a notebook so I can write down my wish list. Oh my gosh. Lisa's supposed to get 14 inches this weekend in Phillips, right? You're from Phillips. 
Oh my lord, I'm so sorry. We are so done with winter here in Wisconsin, aren't we? Ugh. Thank you, Diana, for sharing. I'm going to sign off now and get back to work. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. It's hump day. Woohoo!